what it ain't what it is. So today we are installing some turn signals and reverse lights. These are both LEDs from Last Fit because Last Fit actually sponsored me. So I'm making this video to show you guys how easy it is to install. And um, they have a lot of lighting for the 11th gen and also the weather mats for the 11th gen also. And I think I will be getting that soon. Um, at first I didn't really need it, but there's a lot of grass actually. And I think it'll be easier for me to clean up later if I just had the weather mats and uh yeah and also I'm getting my k-tuner today um I'm pretty excited for that uh yeah so we're about to cut into the install which is fairly easy I'm gonna show you um uh what to take out and all that it's really simple but it's mostly just liners for the you know trunk liner and everything so, uh, yep, and we'll get into it right about now. All right, so before we get started, I think um, the, the turn signals right here, obviously, with the yellow bulb, and the brake light's actually un under it, and I think this is the reverse. But we have a lot of uh, panel, or you know plastic things to take out like these and i have a plastic trim remover to use for all these so i'll just pop it out like that uh you know to get off all these just to get access to them my trunk is a mess actually move that on my tools so we're gonna do all that and come back to the video and yeah before I even start the install, um, I think I should probably do before and after, so I just took my truck liner off and I just realized. So we're going to do before of how the bolts look um, beforehand and then after, so yeah. This took longer than uh, expected. I didn't have pliers, and um, the way it's set up. Uh, let me put it back, actually, it's a little bit. Okay. So I didn't have pliers to pry that part out, but there was a plastic cover here. <coughs> I did not know. So I took that off. There's two um, Phillips screws here, or you can use a um, 5 16th, because for some reason it wasn't coming out, so I'll use a 5 16th to get it off. So on the inside, as you can see, these two, one, two, and you gotta, you gotta pry them, or like, a, sorry, use pliers, squeeze them, and then pull them out. This one, at the end that's just um to line up the end of the tail light you don't really need to do anything it's mostly this one to get it out and then i pulled that out you don't really need to pull that out but i did so your turn signals on top and then your brake lights at the bottom so i'm gonna get that switched out And then we're going to do a uh, before and after, and you do the same thing on the other side. I really wish I didn't have to take that much time in, you know, doing this, but I didn't have pliers, so I had to go get some pliers. So yeah, and there's a, hold on. These are easy to get out, these plastic clips, you know, you just pop them open and you pull it. But this one, good lord. <coughs> I had to get pliers for these too. I thought I could just pull them up easily, but 
these are a pain. So there's that.